Hi everyone, this is Laura, your VP of Student Affairs, coming to you from my home in Berkeley, California. I'm joined by so many of my of folks around the university because we wanna make sure you know that we're still here for you. This is a very challenging time requiring a lot of adjustment and we know everyone, including each of you, is doing their very best to make it work. We really miss seeing you in person, but we want to see you virtually. Take good care of yourself and your loved ones and be well. And now I'm gonna pass it on to Nicole Whitner, our Dean of Students. Uh, greetings, everyone. We're so excited uh, that we have a chance to chat with you today. We hope that you remember that we're still here to support the students who decided to stay on campus. And um, for residents, both future and current, know that the housing application is going to go live on Wednesday. So be sure to check your h and email for any updates. And please stay healthy. We're receiving care reports from faculty and staff as needed. And we're doing our best to support students from a distance. So now I will pass it on to Casey LaBarbera. Hi everyone, this is Casey. I just wanted to give some updates about some things that are still going on around campus. Um, we are still gonna have our Alpha Deltas virtually this coming Wednesday, April 22nd. Uh, we've also decided to reopen nominations that it will be open from now until this Friday. ASHNU also has their executive applications open for next year. Um, if you're interested in applying to be student body president, student body vice president, finance and budget coordinator, communications and publicity coordinator, student and life and events coordinator, or equity and inclusion coordinator, please check your email from a message from ASHNU. Um, applications are now open once again and we'll be doing voting online. Excited to turn it over to Monica. Hello, hot. This is Monica Garcia from Advising and Learning Resources. Um, we hope that you're staying safe and still taking moments to take care of yourself while staying inside. I'm here to provide you with updates regarding advising and tutoring resources. Advising, students are still required to meet with their advisors for summer and fall registration. If you haven't already, please schedule an appointment. Advisors are available by email, phone, and Zoom to help you with any advising needs for, the, for summer and fall, but to also help you to get to the finish line this semester. Tutoring. We are still providing remote tutoring for select subjects. Peer tutors are available by FaceTime and Canvas conference. Please check your h &U email for advising information as well as tutoring appointment link. We wanna remind you that we're all in this together. Online learning does take some time commitment as well as staying organized and we know you can do it. So if you need any help, any pointers, please contact your advisor. I now hand it off to Stephen Sticka, our registrar. Good afternoon, everyone. I echo the sentiments of all my colleagues. I hope everyone is doing as well as possible. Uh, just gonna give you some quick updates as to uh, what has been happening in the registrar's office. Uh, currently, all our services are available online. We're working on uh, the schedule of classes and registration is beginning April 6th, so definitely check the academic calendar for um, all the important dates. We are having discussions about those dates and uh, we will send out communications at the appropriate time. Uh, we are also uh, processing transcripts and evaluations, as well as working on additional academic opportunities through the summer and fall. I wanna let you know that all of our forms are available online through the portal. And if you submit those with your HNU email account, we'll be sure to process those. Now I'll turn it over to Rose in financial aid for uh, her update. Hello everyone. As indicated by my colleagues, I hope everybody is staying safe. My name is Rose Stadler. I am the interim director of financial aid. And during these challenging times, we would like to assure you that the financial aid office will still be available from nine to five, Mondays through Fridays. We can be reached by email at financialaid at hnu.edu, as well as being available by phone at 510-436-1321. Our calls are being forwarded to us remotely so that we are able to assist you with all of your needs. Just a few updates. Please continuously check studentaid.gov website. There will be um, updates on how these times are affecting your federal student aid. You will find information regarding coronavirus, also forbearances for your loans and your parents' loans, as well as information regarding interest suspension on loans. As always, we in the financial aid office are here to assist you and ensure 
that we are here to put your mind at ease during these troubled times. Now I would like to hand the mic over to Chris Chu from Student Success and Retention. Hello everybody. Uh, I hope, as I wanna echo probably about the fourth or fifth time now, but it's very important. I hope things are going well for everybody and that you're staying healthy during this time. Um, I really just want to make sure to echo a lot of everything that's been said by everybody, especially about uh, registration and um, just making sure that you get all of that done. Um, I know that during these times it's hard to stay focused and that there's a lot going on, but make sure to um, get everything settled and make sure to try to get to maintain business as usual, especially when it comes to advising in regards to any holds that you may have. Um, and that's where I hope to come in and help all of you. I know it's difficult now for all of you to um, get connected to resources, possibly because you're used to wandering into an office and knowing some having somebody there to help you. But now, now that you're at home or wherever you are uh, doing things remotely, if you have any questions about anything that's happening related to registration, related to anything that is a potential issue for you, please feel free to contact me in the Student Success and Retention Office at my email um, or at my phone number and um, I'll help you out. Also, more importantly, I really just wanna help all of you out as students. I know studying and going, attending classes, um, while you are um, in an online environment can be difficult. So if you need some help, come reach out and we can talk about study skills or how to be successful online. Um, but you all have gotten here through the hard work and perseverance so far in your life. This is just another challenge for you to tackle and I have the utmost confidence that all of you are capable of handling this. So now I would like to tag in Eleanor McFarlane, uh, Dean of Student Success. Hello students and a warm hello from us here in Student Affairs. We really miss our students, as you can tell. Um, I wanted to talk about basic needs for a moment because it's very hard to learn. It's difficult to learn and study if you don't have your basic needs met. And one of these, the most basic is food. Um, so as you know, HNU is dedicated to making sure our students who might be experiencing food insecurity have options. So I'm gonna tell you about two options right now. One of them is if you're one of the students who remained on campus, uh, the food pantry is still full of food. So you just need to tell one of your housing representatives your staff members there that you'd like to be led into Brennan to access the food pantry and and we'd love for you to be able to have that option. For those of you who are off-site and that's most of you, most of us, um, we wanted you to know we do have a loan program called the Student Emergency Loan Fund and we are focusing our criteria for this uh, loan fund on student food basic needs. So please contact me at mcfarlane at hnu.edu if you'd like to learn more about how to apply for one of those loans and the criteria, I'd be happy to work with you. And before I send you to the next person, I just wanted to give you one study tip because maybe that could be helpful. Studying from home is super hard. So one thing you could try doing is to be the teacher. This is something that really helps you know if you understand. So if you have an assignment or a science or math problem that you're struggling with, Try and sit down and tell a family member how to do it. Explain it to your dog, explain it to somebody, and you will understand it better yourself. So that's my study tip, sending warm wishes and passing you along now to Cameron Parker. All right, all right, Hawks. Um, I'm hoping that you guys are all staying safe, um, that you are having uh, more time with your family, but still able to focus on your goals. Definitely want to say that um, I believe I'm proud, as you should be, as well that you are a part of an institution like HNU that is making sure to do its part to flatten the curve. Um, I wanna make sure that you guys have uh, the resources necessary to successfully complete the semester. Just because we're not on campus, it doesn't mean we're unavailable. We're actually more available because the internet connects everyone. So um, my email is parker at hnu.edu. Um, and with that, um, I'm going to be publishing a Canvas page soon that is full of academic resources um, and support methods that you can use and implement to complete uh, your semester successfully. Um, we can also meet via Zoom or phone and put together personalized academic plans for any 
person that feels like they need a little bit more support if they're struggling, even if you're doing well and you just want to ensure that you continue to do well, uh, we can definitely meet via phone, via Zoom, or we can go back and forth via email and make sure that you get the support that you need. And if you have a question in general, uh, we have forward peer mentors that are newly hired and ready to support all students as well as myself. If we don't have an answer for you, we can put you in touch with one of the wonderful people in student affairs uh, that can help you or address your issues. So we are more available. We are just as dedicated to helping you guys succeed. And with that, I'm going to pass it over to Rebecca Whitney. Hello, HNU. I'm Rebecca Whitney, the Disability Support Services Coordinator. Over the last few weeks, I've started reaching out to all DSS students by phone and or text to check in. If you are a DSS student and you are experiencing any barriers to access, whether it's an ongoing issue or something new to the online learning situation, please let me know so that we can explore possible accommodations. Here's a success tip for DSS students. If you receive testing accommodations of any kind, do reach out to your instructors well in advance of any tests or quizzes remind them about your accommodations and ask them how they are planning to provide that accommodation in the online environment. And definitely keep me in the loop if any questions or issues come up. Stay safe out there, everyone. I am really looking forward to seeing you all in person when we come out the other side of this. And with that, I will pass you over to Sheena from the library. Hello, Hawks. Um, I just want to start by saying that on behalf of the library staff, we all miss seeing your smiling faces every day, um, but we're working hard to ensure that all of the resources and services that bring you into the library are available to you online. Uh, so I just want to highlight some of those for you. And the first is that the library um, is able to offer Zoom research help. So in the event that you need some support in finding articles or sources for your research papers, or if you would just like someone to read through to ensure that your APA citations look correct, um, we are available to provide that service to you. We uh, also have uh, our collections accessible to you online. So articles, books that you need to complete your coursework um, are available online through our website. And we, once again, are happy to support you in accessing those resources. Uh, the other thing that I want to highlight is to remind you that there will be no worries about due dates or fines um, while the campus is closed. Um, so don't um, bring that stress onto you. We're happy to um, worry about all of that later. Um, the other thing that I want to point out for you is that we do have a distance learning guide um, that gives you step-by-step um, -step instructions and um, tips as well as how-to videos about accessing library resources from home. And finally, I'll just conclude by uh, noting that you get access to all of the library resources and services online through our website, and that in the need help section, we're available to provide you support via email, by appointment through Zoom, via text messaging, video chat, and calling. Uh, so I, with that, I will, um, turn it over to uh, Judy Curtis in the counseling services and hope that um, you do reach out to us whenever you need anything. We're happiest when we're supporting you in your educational journey. So the librarians are ready to help. Please just reach out to us when you need us. Hi everyone, this is Judy Curtis, Director of Counseling and Psychological Services. I really do miss seeing you. Um, I want to let you know that we are continuing to provide counseling for our students um, through video conferencing or telephone. And if you want to make an appointment, just um, feel free to call me at 510-436-1530 or email counseling at hnu.edu. I also want to let you know that we're continuing in collaboration with Campus Ministry to offer our grief support group which is held at uh, the last Tuesday of the month and Tuesday morning. And I will be emailing you all the information you need to know to be able to access the group. Um, 
Also, just remember, um, and this will go on through the end of the semester, remember, um, stay strong. Um, social distancing does not have to mean social isolation. And um, we're, you're part of a strong and caring community, and um, we'll all get through this together. Thanks. Now I'm going to pass this along to my colleague, Jenny Gerard Nelly. Hi, everyone. I'm Jenny from Campus Ministry, and I'm here with Father Sal, who's my co director. Our job is to help encourage and facilitate moments of pause, prayer, and connection to our Holy Names University community. During this time, we hope you are making time to take care of your spirit and your well being. Campus Ministry continues to hold mindfulness meditation twice a week on Monday and Friday at 1 p.m. and Catholic Mass at 5 p.m. on Sunday and Wednesdays. We are also planning to host a special digital retreat sometime in April. We are doing all this through Zoom and everyone is welcome to attend. Each week, we will send out email and Instagram updates on what we're hosting and how you can find us. So please follow us and come join us. And you know, you can also reach out to myself or Father Sal personally with any needs or ideas for other offerings. We are keeping our whole community close in our hearts during these days. I wish for you and those you love light, health, and peace. And I look forward to seeing you in person very, very soon. And now I introduce Douglas with the Career Center. Hello Hawks, this is Douglas Phoenix, your Career Center Coordinator, and I'm truly missing you all. Um, as an extrovert, I am definitely missing that energy and seeing your wonderful smiling faces on campus. But the Career Center is still here for you and all of the services that we can provide. So the basic way is to always just contact us in the sense of sending an email to either the career counselor at hnu.edu or emailing me directly, phoenix at uh, hnu.edu but we're also on handshake so handshake is a great platform for you to you know search for jobs and internships even though we're in this moment of turmoil we will make it through this and so here can be a great opportunity for you to start um, researching and thinking about the moves that you'll be doing going forward we are also on canvas and we have a canvas page with a bevy of resources that you can utilize um, for your professional development needs and definitely check out the career center uh, podcast we have on there we have some great episodes with people from different industries and we have some great episodes to come so be on the lookout for that we are also on instagram so definitely check us out there we're daily um posting new information and just moments of what's going on we also have a dropbox on there where you can ask me questions and i'll respond daily to those so definitely check all of those different moments and opportunities out and we are still here for interview uh not interviews but we are still here for appointments via phone or we can do it over zoom as well and we really want to help you in your growth and development this is a great opportunity to definitely start building your network and connecting with other people and not in the sense of just looking at what you're going to be doing professionally but connecting on that humanistic level and really connecting out and reaching out to your friends families and people at, here at the campus who are still interested in your wealth and success so i wish you all the best we are here and i'll pass it off to my great friend freddie gutierrez Thank you, Douglas Phoenix. Hey, what's up, Hawks? Uh, what a time, what a time, what a time. So, Freddie Gutierrez here, Director for the Center of Social Justice and Civic Engagement. Um, and I have to echo so much the sentiment and all of my colleagues here at our great little Holy Names University. Um, as we have shifted to having a very digital presence, um, just know that we are definitely here to support you. I miss being able to provide you all with the space of rest and engagement that the center has been, but look forward to being able to do so um, as a guide and as a resource. And we want to be able to guide you to accessing legitimate uh, news regarding the corona pandemic and its impact on um, our social well being and social happenings. And as a guide for resources to help keep yourself healthy, safe, and sane during this time. So please be on the lookout. Um, we will be rolling out a email newsletter um, and a brand spanking new Instagram page. You can start following us now though we haven't uh, posted any content. We'll have some content by the middle of the week. Um, either email center for social justice at hnu.edu and our Instagram name is hnucsjce. Please follow us. 
And with that, I'll turn it over to my colleague, Claudine, with the Virtual Student Affairs Front Desk. Hi, Hawks. This is Claudine, also known as the Hawk Mom, normally at the front desk at Brennett Hall, but I'm coming to you today and until we're done with all of this from San Leandro, California. I'm still here for everybody, virtually, as part of the staff and as a student, as a commuter student. To, I'm here to help with questions or who you want to talk to, um, just for check-ins, just for fun, share memes, I'm always up for that. Um, you can find me online at parks at hnu.edu, or you can drop me a line, 510-436-1047. So, I want everybody to stay connected, breathe, check your emails, very important, I'm always telling you guys that, and know we'll see each other again really soon. You guys are doing hawking awesome. Back to you, Laura. Thank you, Claudine. Thanks everyone for sharing all the great ways that you're still here supporting students. Um, just want to remind everybody one more time that uh, we're here for you. We want to hear from you um, and don't hesitate to be in touch. So take good care, everybody, and goodbye from your HNU friends and student affairs and other offices. <laughs>